everyone, welcome back to Haley's Closet. Um, today I'm going to be doing my handbag collection. I'm going to be doing a mix of contemporary designers and then my premier designer bags as well. So, I don't have a huge collection. Um, I don't have, you know, just like bags on bags on bags, but I am very content with my collection right now and I feel like I have um, maybe some insightful opinions on the bags that I do have and maybe um, this would help you out if you're trying to purchase one of these bags that I have. So one more thing, um, I actually just finished ma finished recording everything, but I wanted to add something into the beginning about my collection. Um, I hope that you can tell that from my collection, uh, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to share it, was that all of my pieces I feel like um, I could wear with any outfit I wanted to. Um, the outfit I'm wearing right now is pretty casual. I live a pretty casual lifestyle, so I, I feel like... Um, all of these bags represent that and can be worn every day, which is something I uh, value about my collection because I feel like um, I don't have to keep something for a special occasion. I can wear stuff for special occasions, but I can also wear it for every day. So I hope that you can, um, maybe that helps you if you're trying to decide how to build your collection. Um, for me and for what I can afford and stuff like that, it makes sense to get stuff that I can really wear every day. So, um, another thing is that I didn't unstuff any of my bags that were stuffed for the um, mod shots. So if some of them look awkward, like um, my Pandora bag or the City bag, that's why. Because um, I didn't want to unstuff them. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day and you enjoy the video. And um, let's get on to the collection. So, I'm going to start with the contemporary designers. Um, I'll go ahead and start with Rebecca Minkoff. These aren't in an order. I'll just kind of go with what I have right here. And I will be um, sharing mod shots with you as well. Um, I'll either do a split screen right here or I'll, I'll figure out how to do it. So this first bag is the Mini Mac by Rebecca, Rebecca Minkoff. Um, this is a very well-loved bag. I have had this for a few years. I would say at least three years. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll get up. I'll try to see if you can see the texture. This is, it's, it's not like a... I don't know, it's kind of like a croc stamped hot pink. I love, love, love this color. It it goes with so many things, almost anything really. Um, when I first got this, I wore it with absolutely everything that I wore and it looked great. It adds just a nice pop of color, but it's small, so it's not too much color. I love this bag because you can wear it crossbody. I typically wear it on the shoulder though. Um, it's worn fairly well, I mean, it's definitely one of my bags where you can see that I've worn it without hesitation. Um, it does have some color transfer on the back there. Um, some of the leather is, you know, the color is chipping off, but it doesn't really bother me. I love this bag. I think this is priced at $195 right now. The inside looks like that, and I have a ticket in there. Um... There is one side pocket right here, and another little tiny pocket right here. I don't really know what you would um, use it for. I guess, I think I usually put my, my blotting papers in there. And there's also another um, zip pocket right here, but I don't use that ever because you have to unlock this. It's just a pain. So, um, yeah, this is my Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac. Okay, so I have another Rebecca Minkoff bag to show you. Um, looks like this. I have the chains strapped in, or, um, have the chains, chains stored away. I cannot say that correctly. Alright, so with the chains taken out, this is what the bag looks like. Um, as you can see, it has these two side compartments and a zippered compartment. This is actually a lot like another bag I have, which I will be showing later, which you guys may know if you saw my other video. I got this from Zappos a while ago. I believe I got it. I got it as a gift, um, but it was on sale, and I have no idea what this style name is. I've looked online, um, you know, in the purse forums, and I cannot find what this is for the life of me. So if anyone knows, I would be happy to hear. So this just has two zippers um, on the top, which I really like because you can meet them in the middle. It's just easier to get in and out. Just a big compartment right here. As you can see, there's a zipper pocket right here and then two smaller compartments right here and then another small one. Uh, oh, wait. 
Nope, that's not actually a compartment. Just kidding. It's just two small pockets right here. Um, and then this front compartment has a turn lock. And the back is just a magnetic pocket like this. I tend to use this in the summer exclusively just because it's white and I feel like um, it looks more, it looks nice with pretty much everything. I can't say that I'm super happy with the quality of this particular leather on this bag. Um, it, I, I feel like it was a stark white when I got it and I feel like the leather is yellowed a little bit, which I don't particularly love, but you can't really tell from far away, so it's okay. But I, I still love the, the details because the studding is awesome and the quilting is really nice as well. And it is it does fit um, your essentials in here. It's not super big, but I, I like the size of this bag. So the next bag I have, uh, I'm sure everyone has seen this before. It's just a Longchamp large pliage tote. I do store it folded up, it's easier that way, so. This is what it looks like um, out. And this bag is awesome. I love, love, love this tote. Um, I have used this to death and it still looks great. Um, the corners are worn. You can see that little, that's pretty much how all the corners look. Um, but I really, I don't baby this bag. There's no need, no need to. It's made of nylon. Nylon is a very, very durable material. So the corners are a little scuffed, but that's to be expected. Um, it does feature gold hardware here, which um, has rubbed off a little bit, but not terribly so. The button has worn off a little bit. This does, this does have um, leather straps. This is, my, this is the old version. The newer version has a shorter strap drop, which is unfortunate. And um, I've tried on the newer version and I do not like the, the length of the straps. I prefer this much more. So I wish that I would have gotten another color because I'm, I'm hesitant to buy another one just because of that change. I don't feel like I would like it as much. Um, the, oh, the inside is just a pit. There is no organization. There is a small pocket right here, but other than that, um, I, I don't t tend to use this as an everyday bag anymore. I did for a long time. I've had this for a long time, since I was in high school, I think. Um, and I used to use it as an everyday bag, like I said, a lot more. But now I pretty much exclusively use this for travel, which is fine. Um, it's it's gotten more than enough wear for it to have been worth the price. I think that I think these are 140. I'll put the correct I'll put all the correct prices in the bottom bar and links if I can find them. So there we go. The next bag I have here is actually the one I'm currently using. Um, I'm. Ralph Lauren is actually like a premier fashion house. Um, they create, you know, very expensive fashion items, but I feel like their purses are a little bit more contemporary. They're not super expensive, but they are pretty, they're, they're very nice quality. This little guy I have here I got from DSW. It's on sale and um, plus my employee discount. So I got this guy for like $45. It's a Safiano leather and it's just a mini, mini bag. It looks a lot like the Prada, Prada something. I guess it'd be the Prada Safiano tote in like the baby size. I don't know, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the Prada styles. I love this bag though. Um, I have a little pom-pom attached, attached to the zipper, which everyone compliments me on, but anyway. Um, this has a very long strap, which I like. You could wear this crossbody, but again, I typically wear all my crossbody stuff on my shoulder. Um, I don't know, I just like the way that looks. But this just has like an open compartment here. It does have these snaps, which if you have it closed, you have these snaps closed. Um, it makes getting into this center compartment a little more tricky. So I just have these open right now. And there are two, there are some pockets on the interior of this big, um, the main compartment, but I don't use them because it's not very convenient. And then these two side guys open. I keep my phone in this back um, portion and I keep like some flat, like lip glosses and stuff like that in this front one. So I really have been digging this bag for a, uh, a summer bag. 
and it's it's great quality. There's little feet on the bottom as well. Like I said, it's a Sapiano tote, so it feels very luxe. So this last bag I have here is a brand that I don't think is as well known. Um, I've seen Carly Chrisman here on YouTube carry their bags and um, Nikki Philippi um, have been wearing these as well. I'm not sure if they've collaborated with the brand or what, I'm assuming so. But the brand is called Shein Lo. Uh, I've seen their bags on Nordstrom's website, um, Bloomingdale's, I've seen them in store at Von Mar. I don't have a Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's close to me, so I, I'm sure they have them in store as well. So this bag looks like this, and it is just, I don't even know how to describe this bag. It's basically a tote, a toady hobo, I guess. It has this long strap and this smaller strap. And when I ordered this, I actually thought that it was gonna be leather. It is leather, but I thought that it was going to be um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a very soft material. It's not like suede, but it smells like leather though. It's, I don't even know what this material is. I, I, I couldn't tell you. It's soft. Like it's not like a traditional leather. It's, it has this amazing kind of gradient look to it. And I love that because it's grungy. And the hardware on this bag reminds me a lot of my Givenchy bag. It's not as, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to compare them. This is pretty sturdy hardware, I have to say. You can hear that. It's not hollow. Um, but their bags are very affordable. I think this bag was 260 or something like that, but for an all leather bag, that's pretty nice. Um, and the zip is very nice as well has this pretty funky interior. There's a zip pocket back here. There's a couple, you know, small back compartments in there. And then there's this front compartment, which just opens like that. So I really enjoy this bag. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to order more of their bags. I think their company is really cool. And I've done a little bit of research on the owners and they seem like, um, very creative and hardworking women, so I like that. All right, so that ends my collection of contemporary bags. Um, I'm going to go into my more premier and luxury handbags. I will go in order, I suppose. Um, my first designer handbag was actually the Louis Vuitton Speedy in size 30, and it was in monogram print. I recently sold that. Um, I never used it anymore. Um, I kept it for a long time because I was like, it's my first, you know, it was my first luxury bag and it has sentimental value, but in reality, I never use it and I don't think I ever will. I was kind of waiting, you know, for that point in my life where I would be able to use it more easily, but I, it's just not going to happen. I don't like top handle bags. They hurt. Um, they're not convenient for getting in and out of, and I just, the monogram isn't really my style anyways it's a little flashy um, and I think a lot of people pull it off beautifully I just didn't feel like it was you know it didn't go with my lifestyle or style so anyways so I sold that bag um, but the next bag that I got from Louis Vuitton was this bag which everyone and their mom has seen and many people own this is the Neverfull MM and Damien Ravine and I do have this little pom-pom on here. I love it. it. Matches the beautiful red interior of this bag. So I do, this is the um, older version. It doesn't have the pochette. Um, I'm not quite sure how old this bag is. I, the uh, date code is so like hard to get to on this bag. I believe, um, I believe I bought this in 2011. So... Yeah, there's really not much I can say about this bag. This bag is amazing. I love it. I would absolutely recommend it to anyone. The MM size, in my opinion, is the best size for every day. I think the PM is super cute too, but for something that's versatile, I would say the MM is amazing because you can use it for travel, you can use it for school, you can use it for every day. Um, it's perfect, it's the perfect size. This bag has definitely seen a lot of wear. I've used it quite a lot, but it's, 
the bottom looks completely brand new. The body of the bag looks completely brand new. Um, the corners are a little, you know, like you can see where the print has worn off a little bit, but it still looks amazing. The, the coating on the edges is a little bit crackle or like, you know, wavy and um, there are some areas where it's rubbed off, but like I said, that's because I've, I used to wear it cinched in and I've used this a lot. And um, they've always kind of had problems with this coated leather. I'm not quite sure why they've had like cracking and stuff like that, but mine hasn't ever cracked. It's just, you know, it doesn't look like it did when I first got it, which is fine. So as you guys have probably seen, it just has this big open compartment and a, a back pocket right here. So if you would like reviews on any of these bags, let me know and I can try to do a more in-depth review. I just don't want this to be, you know, any longer than it has to be. So there's that. So the next bag is um, a very, very useful bag. This is the Eva Clutch from Louis Vuitton. And again, the Don Mary Bean, that's my favorite, um, my favorite pattern. So to store this, I keep the crossbody strap inside as well as the little gold chain that comes with it. The gold chain is attached on one side and you can either attach it onto this one end to create a clutch bag or how I always keep it. I never wear it as a clutch. I don't really like clutches that much. You can wear it like that. You can have that. I always just dangle this little um, chain like that and then I put on the crossbody strap. All right, so looking at the date code of this bag, um, this is from 2012. So like I said, the Eva clutch is very versatile. The inside um, is more spacious than it looks. You can fit quite a bit. Um, it features these beautiful pleats on the side and I love this bag. It's just gorgeous. There's a beautiful, beautiful plate on the front. I believe this is the, it's, is it their address for their flag, like a flagship location or, I'm sorry, I don't know. The plate on the front. Um, the only downside to this plate is that it does get scratched, but you really can't even tell. I take very good care of it. Um, I'm, I'm cautious of that. Um, but that being said, I've taken this bag out with me to the bar. I mean, it's gone everywhere and it still looks great. Um, the corners are perfect. I mean, this bag, the Damieri Bean is just a workhorse. You don't have to worry about um, rain or anything like that. And yeah, I absolutely love this bag. So for my next bag, um, I got this for Christmas of 2013. And um, I was over the moon. I love this bag. I have always loved this bag and I've always wanted it. I saw this color earlier that year, quite a bit earlier, I think in March, and I, like it took my breath away, which is so lame, I know, but if you're a handbag lover, you know, you know how that feels. And I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, I have to have this bag. Um, but it was one of those things at the time where it was kind of like a little bit ridiculous to ask for, but my dad surprised me and he bought me this and I just, bah! I'm gonna show you. This is my beloved Balenciaga City in ultraviolet. It is stuffed right now, so that's why it looks um, big. Otherwise it would be like a slouchy puddle, which is gorgeous, but anyway. Um, I, I love this bag, I can't, ugh. The color is absolutely stunning. It's the most beautiful color I've ever seen in my life. And it goes with everything. You would not think so, but it goes with everything. The only thing I probably wouldn't wear this with is like red or orange, but I don't really wear red or orange or yellow. Like those types of, I don't wear that anyway. Like it goes with everything in my wardrobe is what I'm trying to say. I have no other words. Um. Earlier I said I didn't like top handle bags, and I really don't. I typically wear this bag over my shoulder. Um, sometimes I will wear it in the crook of my arm, but I really don't like to, um, just because like I said, it hurts my arm, because I'm a baby. But I'm not gonna unstuff this right now. Like I said, if you want a review on any of the bags, let me know. But I stuff them with scarves, so 
just has its plate right there, which is, I still have the plastic coating on there. It has a zip pocket back here. There are a couple small pockets on the sides. It's the perfect bag. It's the perfect size. Um, like I said, perfect color for me. I just, I love it. Love, love, love it. And I know that a lot of people, when they get their first, you know, luxury bag that's something they like, they would get it in a color that is more neutral, like black or gray or tan or something like that. But I just felt like if I'm gonna do a bag that I've always wanted, I might as well go for the color first. Cause the, the, see, like the black color and gray and whatever, those will always be available. But colors like this, they're seasonal and um, they don't do the same colors ever really. Like they might be similar, but they're not gonna be the same. So I am so happy that I got this color and not black or something like that because um, you can always have a black bag, but ultraviolet Balenciaga is just unique and I love it. So I got bit by the Balenciaga um, bug. I still want more Balenciagas. It's my favorite, my absolute favorite brand for handbags, but they are pretty pricey. Um, but that year I graduated college that year after um, after that Christmas that I got my city I graduated college and I was in New York City for the first time and I was in Bergdorf Goodman and I uh, decided I needed to buy myself something to commemorate the occasion and I purchased myself the Balenciaga toolkit which is a crossbody bag I keep the crossbody strap inside I'll attach that in a moment. Um, this is something that you don't see a lot. This is a pretty unique style. It's not always readily available on like every website that sells Balenciaga. I believe Bergdorf has it on their website. I think I know Barney's has it on their website, um, but it's not even on the Balenciaga website, which is strange. But I had seen this somewhere and I just, I loved it. I thought it was so unique and practical. So there it is with the strap. The strap does have a shoulder pad. And when you open the bag, it has three compartments, which is great to organize your stuff. So the back one, I actually have a pad in there right now. Um, and like I said, the center compartment, which is pretty big and then the front compartment. So I love that because it's easy to put your stuff in places that you'll know it will go. That didn't make any sense. It's, it's nice to know where your stuff is, I guess. Um, and there is a smaller pocket in the middle compartment that um, houses the mirror. Um, so like I said, I got this at Bergdorf's um, and I had it shipped to me because then I didn't have to pay tax, which was great. See, it does have a tiny, small, useless pocket in the front. That's more for decoration. Um, so it has that traditional Balenciaga City styling with the buckles and the um, signature kind of design here. But it's just a unique style. And I love it because it's light, it's comfortable. The shoulder pad makes it very easy to hold on your body or on your shoulder. And um, it smells good. I just love the way Balenciaga leather looks. It looks edgy, it looks luxe, but not in a flashy way. Um, and that's what I love about their bags. All right, and um, uh, it's, it's actually my birthday tomorrow, May 6th, but I was visiting home for um, just in between some, in between my school quarters. Um, so my dad gave me my birthday present early and I was very surprised because I uh, had like shown him this bag a lot like a while ago like in passing I was just like oh look how pretty this is and he ordered it for me and uh, This bag is stunning. Here is the dust bag This bag is stuffed right now. I'm not gonna unstuff it just because um, I'm storing it right now cuz I'm in between I'm using that smaller bag right now but this is my Givenchy Pandora medium bag and this is in the croc embossed leather. So like I said, this bag is stuffed. When it's not stuffed, it does not look as structured at all. It's very slouchy. 
So this bag features suede sides, black leather front and back, and then this black leather, um, patent leather that's croc embossed. Like I said, it has those suede sides and silver hardware. This bag is absolutely stunning. Um, I could not believe it when I took it out of the package because I'd only seen this online. And uh, this bag is absolutely incredible. The craftsmanship is amazing on this bag. Amazing. The zips are unbelievably smooth. Um, I don't know if you can hear this. Like, that's just really satisfying, right? Um, yeah, it's a very, very luxe bag. But at the same time, it's super casual and like easy to easy to wear every day. I wore this for two two weeks straight when I first got it, um, and I do like to rotate my bags just so you know I can make sure that they're all being used and that they don't show wear too quickly. Because I do, you know, these are investment pieces, and not that I like, not that I have to baby them, but I don't, I don't, I want them to last as long as possible. So this has a handle right here, which some people do wear. They wear the bag in the crook of their arm, or you can also wear it up here. I'll show you the mod shots though. Um, and then it has a longer detachable strap. And you could wear this crossbody um, if you wanted to, and you can wear it on the shoulder, which is what I do. And the hardware in this bag is unbelievable as well. I'll show you that. And there's a close-up of the chiffon sheet. So this bag is pretty much just an open pit. If you don't know how the Pandora works, um, this back zipper opens up and it's the main compartment of the bag. It's all of this. And then this second zipper right here is just another pocket. It, I thought that when I was looking at it online that this zipper and this zipper opened up to the same compartment, but this is a separate compartment. And then that front one is just an even smaller compartment. So it's a very functional bag. It is a little hard to look, to get your stuff out of because it's so, it's like, you know, dark in there, but I love it. All right, and so for my last bag, um, I actually, I did do a reveal for this bag. If you wanna check out that, I will be, you know, having some more detailed, or I was more detailed in that um, video. But this is the bag that I bought from Fashion File and it is my stunning vintage Chanel bag in lambskin leather. And I'm not quite sure of the style name. On their website, they said it was a shoulder bag. These shoulder straps with shoulder pads. And I did do the reveal, so I'm not gonna go super in depth with this bag, but it just has like a main zipper compartment right there and a couple compartments right here and in the back. And I'll show the mod shots as well. Um, I'm so pleased with this bag. Um, I used it for a few days in a row after I bought it and I loved it. Um, I don't want, I don't feel comfortable taking this to work. So that's why I've been using a different bag and I haven't been using this for every single day. But I did use it a few days after I got it because I had a couple days off and I just loved the way I was able to get in and out of the bag and how functional it was. Um, so yeah, I'm so pleased with this bag and I'm so happy I bought it. And this kind of just kind of, com this just basically completed my collection for right now. And I'm very, very content with what I have. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me know if you would like me to do a review on any of the bags that I showed you, like a more in-depth review. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already or comment down below and let me know what you think, like the video, all of that. And thanks again for watching Haley's Closet and I will see you guys next, in my, uh, next time. And uh, have a great day, bye.